Hello and welcome to episode 26 of the Oikos Family Podcast. My name is Sonia Wood and today I want to talk to you about the definition of the name Oikos. I'm one of the founders of Oikos Family Ministries and I think it would probably be helpful to you, I hope so, if you knew what Oikos means and where it came from and how come this ministry is actually called Oikos. That is a story in itself, but before I tell you the story, I'm going to start with telling you what oikos means. It means simply, direct translation from Greek to English, is home. Some might argue that it actually means house or household. But there's quite a few definitions. In fact, I looked it up um, more in detail now that we can with Google and all the rest of it. But before I dive into telling you about the definitions of oikos from the dictionary perspective, I just want you to know that oikos didn't, wasn't derived from there in the first instance, but I'll come back to that story just now. For now, I just want to give you the definition meaning, home, direct translation from Greek, and it also means if we went into various different versions, you, know, you can go to the Oxford English Dictionary or Wikipedia. Wikipedia actually says the ancient word oikos um, means refers to three related distinctive concepts being family, family property, and house or home. Its meaning shifts even within text, which can lead to some confusion. So that's why I say, actually, that's what it said in Wikipedia, but that's why I say to you, you know, people can take all different versions of this word oikos and, and decide which one works. But because they all could be correct, actually, there's very, very many um, different versions, as as I have just read from Wikipedia for you. Okay, so if we go with just the one definition being house, the um, sub-definitions of that, if I can call them that, sub-categories of that is called a dwelling place, a home, a building for a family, the house of God, the tabernacle, a dwelling place. You see, it goes further than that as well, because um, we can go on and say tents and huts and nests and stalls. So there's many versions of this one word called, this one word, oikos. But for oikos here, oikos family ministries, actually the fact that it follows on with oikos family ministries is in fact one of the meanings of the word oikos is family. That we got from one of the translations or versions or definitions being family, being the family of God, the Christian church, the church of the Old and New Testament, family descendants, you see. I mean, now what I'm doing at the moment is I'm just reading out all the varieties and variations of the different definitions for this word oikos. So what I would like to do is actually hop into the story of how it came to be. Let me tell you how it came to be. We were very feeling very called and committed to family. Both my husband, Greg, and myself were raised in very strong family principled homes. And so family was very near and dear to us and we were very convicted about the importance of family. And when we got married, we were helping with volunteering at various uh, ministries that focused on family. And while this was happening, we received a um, deeper and deeper conviction and compelling and calling to serve families and to serve in a ministry that supported families and the vision of families and the support of families. So that's why the word oikos is quite relevant in the fact that one of its definitions is plain and simply family. Okay, but it actually, the story actually goes a little bit further in that while we were volunteering in various ministries that were focusing on family and the importance of family and the building of family and uniting of family and so on, Um, Our pastor then at the time came to our home one day, unexpectedly just arrived, and he said to us, oikos, he was very bold and certain about this. He said, you guys have been called, and the name is oikos. We thought, what is he talking about? We didn't know what oikos was or why he was using this particular word, and he went further and he gave it the long Greek pronunciation, which I hesitate to do, but I'll try. It was something like oika de Mario. I'm sure I'm saying that very wrong, but he he gave us the correct pronunciation of the long word. And he said, that is the word, that is the name, that is the name on the calling that you have been called to 
and the work that you've been called to do. So he said, okay, and off he went, after tea, of course. Anyway, we then did a little study on this word oikos, and as you can hear from the beginning of this podcast, that the definition of the word oikos just absolutely was perfect. It just was a fit. And so there began oikos, there it was birthed, and from that moment on, we knew that we were called to serve families and to be involved in this work of the importance of family to God and everything that we could do to bring about that vision of a family being built in kingdom purposes. And so began the work and the name of the calling or the ministry is Oikos. Quite simple. Simple as that. And you'll also notice those of you who are familiar with the logo, it's a picture of a home, a little housey. Okay, that's just to depict the fact that one of the primary definitions of oikos is actually the home, as you've heard, followed by uh, the other meaning being family. And so it's called oikos family. And because it's a ministry, it's clearly oikos family ministries. Okay, but our initial logo was more drawn from a vision that we had of a home and a path leading to the home and a tree outside the home whereby, like it says in the word, where the birds come in to nest and and rest. <laughs> and so there was the, the logo started out as quite a vision, quite an involved, detailed picture of a home and a pathway and a tree and a river from Psalm 23 and so on and so forth. But you'll find, if you can, go and have a look at um, the website, the Oikos Family Ministries website. There are some videos there where I share the founding scriptures of Oikos. We have three founding scriptures. And there again, that gives more detail and depth into the actual foundation of Oikos, how it was birthed, where the name came from, where what the word means. So you might be wondering what has this got to do with the podcast and basically I only speak in podcasts at podcasts and do these podcasts with whatever is really pressing on my heart to share with you and each week when I'm preparing to come and share with you I'm really just seeking the Lord and asking him what is it that I can bring to you today that will be a support and encouragement for this very purpose of building family, encouraging you, strengthening you in this kingdom purpose. And it was absolutely incredible to me that this um, sense of needing to tell you about the word oikos and explain to you what oikos is and where it came from just became more and more and more prominent during the course of the week to the point where it was just being confirmed from every direction that I needed to tell you and I needed to share with you um, this, what I have just shared with you, where it came from, what it means. And then, actually, I'd like to just share one small little confirmation story that came as I was listening to another podcast and I just stumbled upon this podcast. I didn't mean to go to it. It was just one of those where you know how one thing leads to another. And so I just, you know, clicked play to listen to this podcast. And the podcast was all about dwelling, dwelling in the presence of God. And I had just before that read about how the meaning of the word oikos can also mean dwell. It's one of its definitions. So I just thought, wow, this was just yet another one of the confirmations, because there were a few, of why it was important I spoke to you about Oikos, because it means dwell, or it means family, or it means house of God, or it means home, and all those things that I shared at the beginning. So I just hope that just by having these few minutes with you, that I can encourage you to dwell, to dwell in your homes, to love being in your homes, to just experience God's pleasure on you as you dwell in his home, which is your family, which is where you live, which is where your abode is, well, you know where it is. I mean, I don't have to tell you that, but what I'm just saying is I want to encourage you to enjoy it and just to feel the presence and the sense of that delight of the Lord in you being and doing exactly what he wants. He wants you to dwell. He wants you to be in his presence. He wants you to be a family. He wants you to draw together, to be united to seek his kingdom purpose. Actually, that's why I suggest you go to the Oikos Family 
website to watch those founding scriptures videos that I did. Let's just hope that if you put it in the search field, founding scriptures of Oikos, something to that effect, it'll come up there in the search field and you'll be able to find it easily enough. Or it's also on YouTube and we do we do have an Oikos YouTube channel, so you could go there and look for it there. You might also just find it there. I hope you find it because there I'm speaking about um, first and foremost founding scripture, which is from Matthew 6.33 which is about kingdom. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all the things will be added to you. Righteousness being right standing with God. So I'm here today to say thank you for seeking first his kingdom. Thank you for being an Oikos family, for being a family, for for committing to this journey of this lifestyle of learning at home and being with your children and being a family. It is really important to God it's important on so many levels that I could talk and talk and talk to you about. But I have said in the past that I'm going to always try and keep the podcasts short so that I can just hop into a day with you quickly and just share a little bit with you in the hopes that you will feel encouraged, encouraged, encouraged and strengthened. And I just feel so privileged to be able to hop into your day and share with you and hopefully strengthen you so that you will continue in this calling. It's so important. Thank you, Oikos families, and thank you for listening, and thank you for making this choice for this learning lifestyle. And keep smiling, because remember, his joy is your strength. If you're not smiling and if you don't have joy, you will feel weak. So please have joy, be strengthened, enjoy your day, enjoy dwelling in the presence of the Lord and being a family and being at home. Bye for now.